fact that Jesus rose from the dead, that one is undisputable. We can take it how we want to take it. It still remains a fact. And a historical fact at that. That Christ Jesus rose from the dead. The whole world is going to stop at Easter. Christian and non-Christian. And it's going to be Easter holidays. It's going to be Happy Easter. It's going to be Easter 2021. 2021 years after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You can put your confidence in Jesus. You can put your trust in the Lord. What's happening right now is really shaking the, the confidence of man. The things that we thought could save us, people find out that they cannot save us. The husband you put your trust in, the wife you so depended on, the economy is failing. You look around, you see medium to small businesses closing and shutting down. Very sad. The things that we thought would deliver us in the day of trouble turns out that they cannot help us. So what do you do when everything else fails? Who do you tend to when there's nothing else and no one else to tend to? Who do you go to? I'll put it to you that if you're going to trust in anyone, trust in a man who can guarantee you eternal life. You can put your trust in Jesus Christ because Jesus rose from the dead. You can put your trust in Christ Jesus due to the fact that after three days Jesus Christ really actually rose from the dead. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is attested to by people that both loved him and hated him. When you look at the secular history of that time, they also talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 2021 years after, we're still talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 2021 years. It's 2021 this year, right? After the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So time belongs to Christ. Time belongs to Jesus. Time is measured after him. 2021 years after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it really doesn't matter who you are. It really doesn't matter where you come from. It really doesn't matter what you believe in. It really matters whether you believe it or not. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead. When Jesus rose from the dead, he didn't just go after the resurrection, he just didn't ascend. He showed himself for a good 40 days. 
For 40 days he was showing himself. He was giving evidence for 40 days. Historical fact. How we want to take it is entirely up to you. To accept it or not is entirely your decision. And your decision is 100% respected. On the back of that, decisions have eternal consequences. Because these two places called heaven and hell are real. Heaven is a real place. Hell is a real place. They are not metaphors. It's not a figure of speech. These are real places with real people in real time right now. Are we saying that Christians are perfect? Obviously not. The Bible doesn't even try to hide that even the great men of faith had their own problems. The Lord doesn't hide that. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, you name them. They all had their faults. The only way they could have a relationship with God was putting their faith in the Messiah. It says some reader. <laughs> yeah, I was reading some as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they put their faith in Christ. That's the only way they could have a relationship with the Holy God. I'll put it to you that there are Christians who have more problems than non-Christians. There are people outside Christian, Christ, the Christian world who are more upright than the Christian. I'll give you that. I'll tell you that. But the righteousness of man is never enough with God. No matter how perfect you are. No matter how much you give to charity. No matter how much you, you um, observe religious practices. The righteousness of man is never enough. That's why you have to go and do it all over again. But with Christianity, you only have to be born again once. Because Jesus Christ died once and for all to put an end to the power of sin. That's the difference between religion and the Christian faith. With the Christian faith, you only get born again once. That's it. Done. But with religion, you have to go and do ritual. You have to go and do religious practices over and over and over again. In Christianity, God comes to you because you can go to him. God pays the price because you can pay the price. God secures salvation because you can secure that salvation. That's the difference between Christianity and everything else. In everything else, you have to try and do something to please your God. Not in Christianity. God himself came in the form of a man Jesus Christ, he died on that cross and that dying on that cross, that crucifixion, which was a physical crucifixion. That's what secures your relationship with God as your loving father. You can really put your faith in Christ Jesus. Especially with what's going on around. And you know, we're sorry for those who have lost their loved ones. We grieve with them. 
but here is a question is the life after death what happens to you when you die when you close your eyes for the last time is this sign that death certificate the time of death where does your soul go where does it go there are two desti- destinations one destination is heaven the other destination is hell Jesus said those that deny me before men I will deny them before my father which is in heaven those that accept me before men I will accept them before my father which is in heaven that's what Jesus said I was preaching in Piccadilly the other day and I said you might want to deny Jesus now but what if you go next week and then they invite me to preach at your funeral and all of your friends get born again at your funeral you deny Jesus because you're afraid of what your family is going to say to you you deny Jesus because of what your friends will say to you but when their time comes to make a decision they will accept Jesus Christ we see it all the time I, you see people getting born again either with their friends or cousins funeral you see people making a decision to follow Jesus Christ at a friend's funeral the very same friend who refused to accept Jesus because they wanted to look cool in their friends before their friends Jesus died a sinless man he died an innocent man that's why Jesus Christ could rise from the dead that's not a reason why he could rise from the dead The blood of Jesus Christ is as alive today as it was 2021 years ago. And I repeat myself. 2021 years after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. AD, right? Jesus was on that cross for six hours. Six hours. A good six hours. So I've got something from the end of the week. I'll have this. Okay. ask this question all the time does God really love me they question the love of God they question the love that God has for them if you're one of those people that question God's love the fact that I'm here today in this cold talking to you about the resurrection of Christ that's evidence that God loves you is evidence the fact that I'm here today telling you there's a place called hell and there's a place called heaven and Jesus Christ is the difference between the two 
That's God's love. That's God's love. Anybody who questions the love of God, if you're listening to me and hearing me right now, this is evidence that God loves you. This is the evidence. The Bible makes it very clear for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. No amount of money can buy salvation. No amount of money can buy peace of mind. No amount of money can buy inner peace. No amount of money can comfort your conscience from the guilt of sin. No amount of money can do that. I asked a question, I said, if you were to come face to face with God, what would you ask him? One chance, one thing. What would you ask God? If you were to come face to face with God, what would you say to him? Somebody came up and said, I would ask him to make me very real. Just think about that for a second. Do you not see millionaires committing suicide every day? Do you not see people with money wealthy people, millionaires, billionaires, so unhappy. Money, money doesn't buy inner peace. Money doesn't buy you joy. Money will give you happiness. But inner peace comes from Jesus Christ. Peace is not a feeling. Peace is a person. That person's name is Jesus Christ. Your conscience will never find rest until you turn to Jesus. Your conscience will never find peace until you come to Jesus. That's how it works. Now, we don't show in religion anyone's down anyone's throat. We are stating the facts as we see them. The man died and after three days was from the dead. I would choose to listen to that man any time of the day. If you've been to America and you bring me back the photos, I will listen to what you have to say about America because you've been there. If you've been to Jamaica, and you bring back your holiday pictures, of course I'm going to listen to what you had to say. I will listen to what experience you had. And I will take it as truth. Because you have the evidence. You've been there. If you've been to life after death, and you rise from the dead on the third day, and you have the scars to show and to prove it, have the crucifixion and I will have to I will believe you Jesus died and rose again Jesus is the son of God education has a problem with that but then education is failing people with all your knowledge still can't solve the very simplest of things Things like loneliness. 
things like hatred, things like pride. No solution for that. As educated as you are. Five degrees and no inner peace. What's that all about? Five degrees can't even put a smile on your face. All the money in the bank and you still feel empty and, 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 and lonely inside. That in itself tells you that money in itself will not buy in a piece. I used to be one of them. I used to drink. And as a matter of fact, a couple, some of you used to do the same. Right. The reason why we want to keep our minds occupied is for one reason and one reason alone. We don't want to think about life after death. The reason why we have that Netflix and that Sky subscription, the reason why we go to gym, the reason why we have social lives, the reason why we keep our minds so busy <laughs> is because you can do something, it's all I think. It's because we don't want to think about life after death. If you were to take just five minutes to think about eternal things, that will change your, your um, the way you look at life. That's going to change. I have met, I have talked to hardened unbelievers. People who swore that they would never have anything to do with Jesus. Some of these people called for me when they were dying. Some of these people called for prayer when they were dying, when they were breathing their last. Then they decided, oh, I need to make myself right with God. And you know what? That's the grace of God. Do you have any guarantees that you're going to have that chance? One of the guys that I used to go to church with, we were in prayer today. We said our goodbyes. He went home to sleep. He never woke up. That was the end of it. When Jesus was risen early that first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven, as they sat at dinner, and he told them off, because of their unbelief, because of the hardness of their heart, because they did not believe, which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world, preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them 
that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, and they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and they preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. That answers your question, people. Because the questions that we can ask is, okay, so if Jesus is alive, where is he? You've just heard it for yourself. After Jesus had told the people off for not be, the, the, his disciples for not believing in him, he was received up into heaven. They saw him. Historical fact recorded in a historical document called the Bible. The Bible is a book of history. It's not fantasy. It's real people, real time, real places, and there's a lot of archaeological evidence as well to prove the trustworthy of the Bible. You can trust the Bible, you, can, you really can trust the Bible. So if you're ever wondering, okay, so if Jesus is reason, and if Jesus rose from the dead, where is he? The Bible clearly states that Jesus is, was received up into heaven. So Jesus, right now as we speak, is seated at the right hand side of the Father in heaven. That's what Jesus is at. Jesus Christ loved you so much, he chose to come down to die on a cross. Because that's what it takes to reconcile man to God. That's what it takes. You know, when God made man, God made men out of, he said, let us make men in our image and after our likeness. Right? So you were made in the image of God. God took his very best and made you. The fact that you're made in the image of God means God took his very best and made you. God took his very, the image of himself to make man. That's why Jesus had to come down and die on that cross after what had happened in the Garden of Eden. And that's an answer to another question. Why do we have nightmares? Why do people act so crazy? It's because of demonic activity. It's because of the influence of Satan upon the world. The only one thing that Satan doesn't want you to know or to believe is that he is real. If Satan can get you to believe that he is not real, he's one. Because then he can really do a number on you. And you're going to call it all kinds of medical things like psychosis. You're going to call it all kinds of things like behavioral problems. But in actual fact, it's the fact that because Adam sinned against God in the garden.